Hello, this is a tutorial that's going to help you get through the process of removing and placing your laptop keyboard for Toshiba A215 satellite series. I believe this also works for the 210 and the 205. Three things need to be done first. You need to remove this panel up top above the F function keys. So just kind of gently pry it a bit and bring it all the way down. I've kind of done this already, but you can get the idea here. Next thing we're going to do is remove the small screw to the left and the one above the insert key on the right. Once that's done, you can gently lift the panel and replace it with the new panel. This is my replacement panel. As you can see on the back, it's got a little piece. It's going to slide right in. Alright, so to get those screws out, you're going to need a Phillips head screwdriver, and they're really, really tiny, so just be careful. Once you get them loose, the board will pop right up. So I'm going to actually remove this and remove the other one. I just unscrewed them. There we go. Put them somewhere safe. Now, as you can see, this is elevated here, and I'm going to just pop it up. What you can do is pull upward gently. There we go. And on the bottom, you're going to see that little guy right there. It's okay to just pick him up with your finger and just gently wiggle and it'll come right out. Don't be afraid when you see that it separates from the actual base here. That's quite normal and it's fine. This is exactly what we want. Okay, now that we've got that removed, I'm going to make something very clear that's going to help out a lot. So what you're going to see right here is a little black tab. Can't get much closer without losing focus. And you know you can actually move this up a little so you can see it a little clearly. Well, anyway, it's a little black tab here. You do not want to go underneath that tab. You actually want to go into the middle of the tab. I hate when people don't give me proper instructions in tutorials. Trust me, kind of crazy. So what we're going to do is take the board, put it top first, line it up, and take the tab here and bend the bottom just a little bit. I'm sure if you're watching this, you already have one of these things, so you should know that you can actually bend it. And you want to kind of just finagle its way into the middle of that little black dot, not underneath it. So this requires two hands, so I'm going to put the camera down for a moment and we'll zoom in afterwards. So two quick notes here. That little black tab that I mentioned previously, you can slide it up a little and then put the ribbon inside and slide it back down. Do it on both sides and it'll make this an easier transition. Also, I had said that you should seed the top of the keyboard in. Don't do that. Actually place it on top up here. So it's going to make things a lot smoother. If you take the, the next step is to take the board and align the notches with their respective holes and seat it in first. It'll be pretty easy. It takes two hands, so I'm just going to do that and then I'll resume. Hello, this Alright, now that we've got that in there, we just want to place gently on the top so that everything lines up with their respective notches as well. And you should hear a click. And that's pretty much it. Grab your screws that you had from before these little guys, make sure you lose them in the process. And once you put those in, it'll fasten back. So I'll just do that real quick, so you can see. So I'm gonna screw them in, and pause. Alright, now those screws are in place. Last part is to put the thin plastic piece back in. So you don't remember which way it was, the little quick indicator is right there. That little an erected piece and then you have a slider. This piece that's sticking out will go on the right hand side easily into its respective place and this left one gets a little tricky. You're going to have to bend and slide and then this will pop. There we go. And just press it down. Thanks for bearing with me and I hope this was making your life a little easier. This is my first one so hopefully it'll get better. Thanks for watching. Alright, and here's the proof that the new keyboard actually works. Mm, it's my password.
So I just got access to my laptop and everything's a go. It takes a bit to load up. I have too much eye candy here. If you're curious what splash screen or sound that is, I use Ubuntu Linux 1010. And that's pretty much it. If anyone's interested, you can just watch. And that's my background. And here's my pa other password protector. As you can see, I'm typing now. And it works. So, thanks for watching. Take care, everybody.